Tatiana, could you tell me the very spe special project you did during the lockdown? Um, yes, actually I start to draw every day on the front page of a newspaper and um, I choose all the newspaper from the country was really impacted by the, the crisis of the COVID. And uh, the idea was really to try to, to, to make a, a trip around the world without, because it was the situation was that all the world was locked down. And uh, the idea was really try to go out by inviting all these newspaper inside my studio. And, um, and it was really kind of a diary where every day I was drawing on top of this uh, front page. Sometimes I was interact with the, the title that uh, I was reading on these uh, front pages and sometimes it was just a moment in my studio, but just my daily life uh, where I was in there working or sometimes there is my dog or so on these uh, front pages. But the idea was really to try to catch this uh, historical time because everybody was sitting at home and playing a lot on the social media and tried to do things, try to, to stay busy and connecting on the social media. And I was thinking what will remain after that? Uh, all this uh, Zoom and all this uh, work online, and maybe in a few years we've just become so old and we couldn't see it anymore. And for me, it was really important to to try to record this period because it was kind of historic period that all the world was just locked down in. in and so every night you were choosing a front cover from a newspaper in a democratic country and a, a free newspaper, right? Yes, I actually, I really avoid to choose any tabloid, tabloid or. A newspaper that was not uh, independent press. Uh, this was important for me to choose the, the newspaper was really uh, very factual on what was going on and that was totally independent and free press. And um, the, the interaction with the, we see, we see them in the back, the interaction with the newspaper was to express something or just your mind? The interaction with the newspapers was really to... Well, when, when an artist's work is always expressing something, uh, but I think on this project it's quite clear what was gone was really try to, to... For me, it was a way to go out of my studio, uh, of course, totally virtual, because it was, I was travel almost every day around the world by choosing and uh, reading and catching all these newspapers. Well, I couldn't read all of them because... Uh, you don't language. understand. <laughs> I don't understand <laughs> Japanese or... But um, the, the idea was really try to, to, to catch this time, these two different time of everything was uh, on hold, everything was suspending and uh, all this... Uh, news was every day was kind of counting the, the people who was passing away and, uh, and, and, and this time where an artist is in the studio and keep working and keeping have a, a, a nice and, uh, and what do you want to do with this project? What shall this project become? You want to publish it, right? I think it will become an edition, and it's be, and, and uh, actually it's one piece. It's uh, an independent work. And uh, the Guardian published the, the front cover you have done with uh, with the front uh, the front cover. Yes, so it published the Guardian published the front cover of the Guardian, but also some other front cover. Uh, also, La Repubblica make a publication of some of the front cover, a Fola de San Paolo also. And, um, but normally you do less figurative work than that, right? No, my work is always figurative. I, you, but you I've never seen you drawing a tree, for example. Oh, yes. 
throw a lot of trees. Ah bon? <laughs> I even build a lot of trees in cast bronze. <laughs> yes, in bronze, yes, but but suddenly we discover you are really gifted with drawing. Oh, um, I do a lot of drawing. Actually, I'm drawing since uh, really in. I think from '95 uh, until 2000 was really much more private my drawings because it was small sketches. Then I, then I have a date for installation. It was they were more like a study, and then from 2005 they really become much more independent and autonomous drawing. So I'm drawing since a very long time. So you you, you draw every day? I draw every day. <laughs> Even after the lockdown. Merci.